it's finally time to take anime versus manga to another level, although we're mainly talking about the tools used to create each respective medium. On today's Chop and Block, we have OpenTunes, an open source animation program, versus Clip Studio Paint, a jack of all trades software most well known throughout the comic and manga creator community. Ring the bell, it's time for round one. Let's start by learning a bit more about our competitors. Available for both Mac OS and Windows, and currently being managed by Duango, OpenTunes is the result of Studio Ghibli. Yep that Studio Ghibli, releasing the source code for their very own internal animation software known as Toons. Get it? Toons? Open Toons? And if the word open and releasing weren't telling enough, this software will cost you the low, low price of absolutely free, which compared to a lot of its competitors is quite the boon, since it's the closest to a complete software in terms of features within its more than reasonable price range. This program is capable of both bitmap and vector, and supports frame-by-frame -frame animation and rigged puppet animation. In its history, it has aided in the creation of timeless classics, such as Our Yeti, The Tale of the Princess Kaguya, and perhaps most famously Spirited Away. It was even used in Western shows, such as Futurama. On the other side of the comparison, if you have been floating around the comic book, webtoon, manga, illustration, and to an extent, the animation scene, you would have probably heard of this program. Available for both Mac OS and Windows for around $50 for the Pro version, and just under $220 for the X version, with a monthly subscription option of $0.99 cents per month. We said it's a jack of all trades, and we weren't kidding. Used in illustration, concept art, and most efficiently in creating comic books, with its multiple dedicated interfaces, it's also capable of 2D frame-by-frame -frame animation and can even manipulate 3D models and assets. Now that we got acquainted with the software, let's take a closer look to their tools. To put it bluntly, OpenTunes doesn't have the most intuitive interface. For starters, it doesn't take advantage of the classic timeline, but rather takes the more traditional approach, relying on an X-sheet, which was the common way of planning animations back in the hand-drawn days. Okay, that's kind of a lie. You know, newer versions do have a timeline option, but it's still not the most optimized. The traditional animation origin story is also a reason why it supports ICC cameras and has GTS scanning developed by Big Ghibli themselves, making it really easy to clean up any hand-drawn art. It has a plethora of brushes with a decent engine that can simulate many traditional mediums. It's, however, limited in size and opacity manipulation, though it makes up for it with anti-aliasing and relatively simple color manipulation. You can also mess around with effects using the no tree feature. All in all, this software can go very deep and is more than capable of handling itself in front of the industry juggernauts and offers you everything you might possibly need to create high quality animations as proven by professional productions. Now, we move away from the land of overly specialized to extremely versatile. Clip Studio Paint is primarily used for illustration, but it's equipped with multiple preset interfaces for its different functions, including, as stated earlier, illustration, animation, and comic book creation. It has an almost limitless library of brushes that can be expanded upon by both yourself creating custom brushes or downloading them from fellow creators. It's mostly used for raster-based illustrations, but also supports vectors. Among its many quality-of-life features, we have extremely precise perspective rulers and a surprisingly accurate and easy-to-use fill bucket tool, which we all know how much of a pain fill commands can be. Within its realm of expertise, meaning comic book creation, it's one of the most comprehensive software on the market, capable of organizing pages by chapter, manipulating individual panels, and has an incredible detailed library of adjustable screen tones plus action lines, pre-made backgrounds, and text. 
All of its many tools are accessible in the different interfaces, but you can also customize your own. The most relevant feature in today's conversation is the animation timeline, which is more in line with modern animation software. Taking advantage of multiple timelines, onion skinning, easy playback, and all of the aforementioned features. All in all, it's everything you could possibly look for in an art program, while still fulfilling the animation niche quite admirably. That's all fine and dandy, but the question is, can you actually learn to use these software? Well, from one side, OpenTunes is hard, and we mean it, it's really hard. The software is extremely capable, but it has a steep learning curve. The interface isn't the most intuitive for starters, especially if you have dabbled in other animation software and you're not familiar with the concept of an X sheet. There are, however, plenty of tutorials online that can help you get acquainted and is definitely worth the investment if you are willing to put in the time into learning its intricacies. Clip Studio Paint, on the other hand, is a lot more beginner-friendly and generally more in line with most art programs out there, making its learning curve quite more manageable. It is, however, a lot more involved in terms of features. In other words, it's easier to pick up, but a little more difficult to master in light of its capacity. Okay, that was a tough match, so let's look at some pros and cons. In the case of OpenTunes, biggest pro, it goes without saying, is the fact that it's absolutely free and is still getting support from the developers, with new versions dropping on the regular. It's also, as we have established, extremely capable and is very packed feature-wise, especially compared to the other free-to-use competitors. And since we all know how ridiculously expensive animation software can be for the average person, OpenTunes makes a great addition to anyone's roster, especially if you're looking to take up animation professionally. And it has plenty of quality of life features that make scanning and cleaning up traditional animation way less of a hassle. It's not all rainbows, however. This software isn't free from annoying bugs and crashes. The interface, even though it has gotten a lot better and easier to read, still leaves something to be desired, and the extremely steep learning curve makes it quite the investment of your precious time. The competitor isn't all innocent either. Usually, CSP's price plays quite the card in its favor. It being a one-time purchase with a relatively low price, but in this circumstance, it really doesn't help since its competitor is free. However, it's extremely rewarding for what it's worth and has plenty of purchase and upgrade plans so you can invest in it at your own pace. All in all, it has everything you could possibly wish for in an art software and more. It provides a great platform to not only learn the basics of animation, but also, with time, create some really high quality works. It's a jack of all trades and a master of one. Scratch that, actually a master of two. It's industry standard in both illustration and comic manga creation. As a conclusion, and to be as simple as possible, both programs are incredibly powerful and very useful software to have. OpenTunes is free, so there's no harm in giving it a try to see if its unique workflow matches what you're looking for in an animation software. Despite the steep learning curve, it's still capable of competing with the big dogs of Adobe Animate and Harmony in terms of quality. Meanwhile, CSP is the younger brother always willing to try new things and always adding new skill sets with the constant support of both the devs and the users. Both are a worthwhile investment and both of them have an abundance of resources you can learn from. Did you hear that bell? That bell means that the match is over. We really hope that you left the arena more enlightened than you have entered it. Let us know in the comments below if you are familiar with the software and feel free to leave any tips and resources to the other passerby. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell as it's the only way to keep the Eldritch Algorithm Overlords at bay. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.